Hello Libra, this is Deja Vu Tarot and I am back for another reading. I just want to do some messages from Spirit today. It is Sunday. I wanted to give y'all some scriptures and some messages. Uh, you know, some loving words from Jesus, Oracle Deck, and also Universal Love Notes. So just some messages for you guys and also ended with just a small little tarot from my deck. Nicolata, Nicolata, I can't even use for my day, right? <laughs> so let's get started. And basically, this is a collective of energy, guys. So if you want something specific, something more personal to your life situation, please feel free to book a reading on my website. The link will be in the description box below. Also, I have my cash up in there, guys. If you want to just donate, y'all like my channel, you guys helping you, you're getting messages. Feel free to, you know, throw something in the cash app. I hate. I do not take any. I'm not picky, okay? Whatever God put on your heart to donate to me, to give to me, to say thanks. If it's helping, I appreciate it, guys. And, you know, it's just getting the messages out there for me. All right, so let's get started. Okay, Spirit want to talk right now. So, says all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer believe and you shall receive Matthew 21 22 so Libra okay because I know some of y'all are going through spiritual transformations spirit is saying ask and you shall receive a closed mouth is not going to get fed guys now listen angels do hear you if you think out loud in your mind right ancestors hear you when you talk out loud okay God hear you either way it go so all I'm saying is he is saying all things whatsoever that you ask for you shall receive but a closed mouth do not get fed you need to set your attentions to the universe so that they can bring it for you now it's going to be in God's timing but you have to ask okay say your prayers say your affirmations Okay, just talk to God like regular. Okay, next one says, I am with you always, even until the end of the world, God, God is saying. Libra, Matthew 28, 20. You are not alone, Libra. God is with you always, all of us. We're never alone. We just feel that way because we have inner childhood wounds that we got to work on. So it's making us feel like, okay, we're lonely. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to ever be by myself. You need to be alone so God can talk to you. If you study being distracted by other people and they 3D bull crap and they, they egotistical ways and narcissists that won't let you let you breathe for a second, that's because it's demonic. They don't want you to be alone because they know God will speak with you when you're by yourself. That's why I always say, be alone so you can work on your demons. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke 12, 32. You have to believe that you're worth it. You are worthy, Libra. You are worthy. God is saying, stop putting yourself down to say you don't deserve. You deserve everything. We are all worthy. We deserve to be loved. We deserve to have God love us. We have to believe that. You got to work on your self-esteem. That's all it is. People putting stuff in your mind telling you you're not worth it ever since you was a child. You are. You have to believe that. God will help you with that. But you got to ask God to help you with your self-esteem. Bottom of the deck. Okay. It says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Talk to God. Talk to Jesus. Whoever you believe in. Universe. Peace will be unto you, as my Father has sent me. John 20, 21. Talk to God, okay? Okay? Talk to God. Talk to Jesus. Talk to whoever you believe in. Ask them to help you, show you the way, guide you. They're going to do it anyway, especially if you're a twin flame. Yeah, have faith in God. This is your inner child. Okay, God knows your inner child, but it's damaged right now, so you guys need healing. Okay, don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. God loves you. He's not going to show you anything wrong. 
Seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteous, and all things that shall be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. Yeah, you got to seek the kingdom first. You want God to bless you, you got to ask. What did I say? Ask and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. John 16, 24. Closed mouth will not get fed. Okay? Have faith. According to your faith, be it unto you. Matthew 9, 29. All right, Libra, so that is your scripture. So, you know, look them scriptures up. Read them. They'll help you. All right, so let's get some universe love notes, and then we're going to end this. What What's coming up for August for you guys? Closed mouth ain't going to get fed, Libra. And being stubborn and in your pride, that definitely, you're going to have to change that. Spirit say change is always good, okay? not a bad thing to change it's a bad thing when you want to stay the same way that's not good at all you should never uh, human beings we should never want to be just saying the same thing we always should be looking to elevate that's for all of us and if we don't elevate spirit will elevate for us especially if you got a mission and you're a twin flame and you got something to do on this earth now, you can choose not to do it, but I wouldn't recommend that. Because it's definitely a lot of karma. We'll be coming your way, towers on your head, okay? Alright, so, Holy Spirit, give us some more messages for Libra. Yeah, keep it simple, Spirit saying. Old souls use words very sparingly. Except, of course, for I love, thank you, wow, now and cool. Wow, I love you now, the universe. P.S. Which sounds much better than wow, now I love you. Sequences is important. Just keep it simple. People t tend to overthink things, you know. Sometimes, just keep it simple. I love you. That's as simple as that. Don't overthink it, Libra. I know y'all scales and y'all getting y'all mind. Y'all want to overthink it. Don't overthink it. Keep it simple. Old souls, especially if it's a spiritual connection. Keep it simple. I go where you go, but keep it real. Because especially if it's an empress. If you're trying to come to an empress and you're going to lie and say you love her and all this stuff, we don't know. We work with spirit every day. I just want to throw that out there. I go where you go. It say, tell me, are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you? That for words you've almost mindlessly, mindlessly chosen. Hearts broken too long begin to heal. That eyes sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye. Remarkable. Our findings exactly. Yeah. Keep it simple. Say goodbye. Leave these people that that is holding you back alone. They're back there for a reason. You know why they don't want you to, to go for it? Because they don't know how to move forward. So they want to hold you back. No. Cut that cord and, and fly like a bird. Spirit say because love is the reason. Each person in your life is there for a reason. And that reason always has something to do with love. Like me, the universe. They love you. Spirit loves us, guys, unconditionally. It doesn't matter what we do. See, with the devil... The devil can't love you unconditional. They don't even know what love is. Okay? They love is lust and greed and gain. When you come over here on our side, it's love unconditionally. It doesn't have no requirements. You don't have to steal, lie, cheat, have sex with multiple people and all that other stuff. Strip your clothes off. We don't got to do none of that. It's peace. Yeah, be true to yourself. Exactly. You don't have to put no mask on. Okay? You'll find the answer, Spirit say. You'll find what you seek if you be true to yourself. You may not ever understand what's going on in their life, but you can always figure out what's going on in yours. So I feel like Spirit is saying, focus on your life now. Stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Do something new. Sometimes different is good. You're being watched by loving eyes. Spirit do see us, even when we're doing bad, okay? Give me one more final message for Libra going into August. What would be the final message going into August for Libra? Well, 
last message it says you are door libra don't be fooled by the players don't be fooled by yourself don't over talk think yourself into a whirlwind of negativity you are adored the universe adores you there's no one more lovable nor loved than you and the universe knows everyone it says you are precious okay you got to believe that though and the only way you're going to believe that is work on your affirmations get your mind out of that negative state you have to train your brain you have to do affirmations every day self-love affirmations every day as a routine just like when you're working out in the gym just like when you're trying to lose weight it takes long it takes consistently i'm sorry guys it's the same thing it takes consistency Spirit say, create space for new love. So some of you guys will be getting new love now. All right, so let's check in with Libra. Okay, Spirit, give me three good cards for the month of August. What Libra would be looking forward to for the month of August? What is Libra going to be looking forward to for the month of August? Holy Spirit, what Libra's as a collective of energy what would they be looking forward to for the month of august show me what i need to see might be a mess coming up i don't know let's see show me what i need to see three cards one more all right overall energy the eight of swords so some of you guys you may be going to jail we've been getting out a lot some of you, you're just overthinking. You're scared. You're trapped in your mind. Okay, you're overthinking this. Yeah, because you love someone. But you're, you're afraid to commit. Okay, some of you, this is self-love. Because you look, it's all the dolls is her. So some of you need to focus on your self-love for the month, month of August. Okay. Three of swords. Yeah, somebody's going to be heartbroken now. Maybe you're heartbroken right now because... Of something that happened here somebody broke your heart ace of wands you want a new start could have been a third party yeah the death card you ended it you ended a third party that you probably was in love with eight of swords it had you round and round and round so I feel like for some of you it's a spiritual mind prison you guys are in a, a prison right now over a love that you had to end and you need to love yourself yeah, devil energy. I can't make it up. Could be drinking a lot, too. Sexual energy as well. Some of you may be still under the spell. Illusion spell. Mental mind trap. Bondage. Those type of spells. You gotta cleanse yourself. Cleanse, clean that de devil energy. You have to do an energy clearing. Look it up. Look, book a reading with me. I'll show you how to do it. Or at least get you the right information and get get it going, okay? All right, let's get into it. So, yeah, Ten of Swords, that's what I said. Somebody having a pain for ending in August. Some some of you guys are ending some relationships. Some of you guys are getting betrayed. Uh, I have to say, maybe a betrayal because we got the devil energy now. That's what I'm saying now. It'll be sexual for some of you. This devil done betrayed somebody. Toxicity. Could be spells, black magic. What's this ten of swords, man? Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. It came back out. Yeah. A relationship. You ended something. This devil here. You could have been obsessing. Obsessing. Because Eight of Swords also talks about going round and round and round in your mind. But this is this is a Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. Somebody ended a relationship. Could have been a toxic relationship for some of you. We'll be coming to an end in August. For some of you, you're working, you're focusing on yourself. And you're ending a relationship. Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups. Somebody had a lot of options. Or well, could have been confused. Some of you are confused on why it ended. Feeling very regretful and ashamed. I feel like this was some devil energy you were in, Libra. You or the other person. 
Could have been spell work, sexual magic, anything toxic, drinking. And you're regretful because someone ended it and you're hurt. Yeah, this Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could have been the one that was being very sexual. You have to break it off. You have to end it. Or they ended it with you. Alright, what is... Now, what is this? The X. Judgment. Yeah, some of you gonna be undergoing judgment here. Jail. Yeah. Be going to jail for some of you. Or judgment, spiritual judgment. Okay. The will of fortune. Karma. Yeah, the moon. Now for some of you, you guys was doing something demonic or something. Because the way this lady laying in this devil, I feel like somebody was doing very something very demonic here to this this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, the destiny, yeah, you were some something was doing secret secretly to this Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or this is a toxic Cancer Pisces Scorpio, and they was doing something to your destiny here in the secret. Or, for some of you, you're going to follow your intuition regarding this Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're in love with. You're feeling very regretful. This person could have ended it. And now you're wishing, you're following your intuition and you're wishing to return. Maybe you're hiding it. Could be hiding it. Some of you are hiding, still going to be hiding your feelings, huh? Could be hiding it, wishing to come back to someone. This judgment, it fell out over here with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. What else with the judgment? Four of Wands, Queen of Wands. Yeah, married. Some of you were married to a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag Sagittarius. That was probably uh, doing something in secret, wishing on something at night. Could be spell work. For some of you, you just find your person very beautiful, Libra, and you know that's your destiny. You could be obsessing over it. This person could have ended it with you. You was in that toxic energy at one point in time. And now you want to marry this person. A four of wands, you, you see stability with this person. She's a boss-like figure. You find a beautiful... For some of you, you guys are just going to get good karma coming up. Good four wands, good karma, the will of fortune here on your business possibly. For some of you, this is a judgment judgment on a queen on a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio that did some demonic stuff here with somebody destiny. This twin flame destiny. So for some of you, you guys are going to be getting a judgment. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Or some of you going to decide to go to this Queen of Cups here. And offer some type of pinnacle. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Could be a wife. Somebody was after some money too. Also some of you, you, like, you guys are deciding to go back to this Queen of Pentacles. Maybe you find her very stable, grounded, um, individual here. Ace of Pentacles. You, some type of finances. For sure, that somebody's gonna get blessed with some some of y'all money increasing in the next by next month. All right, what's the six of swords? Ace of swords. Five of wands. Fell over here on judgment. Maybe somebody was fighting. Fighting their feelings, fighting on, on moving forward, and now they decide to move forward in August. What's this one? IX. The Hermit. Knight of Pentacles. 
So I feel like for some of you, you're doing some soul searching. You may gonna take your time. I feel like you guys do want to move on with your life. It could have been a toxic marriage or a relationship or something that was going on with this devil energy here. And uh, yeah, it looked like it was an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have been doing some black magic over you and your twin's destiny here. And you found out about it you received some clarity on it and you're working on yourself and you're trying to move forward but the overall energy is the eight of swords so what's this eight of swords spirit and this is my karmic card too and that popped out ten of pentacles you may be scared of commitment libra oh no this gels for some of you this is gel seven of swords ten of pentacles seven of swords somebody stole some money eight of cups yeah somebody stole some money in a family dynamic and you are walking away or they've stole some money from you and they walking away let's see x i strength yeah you're gonna get the strength to walk away you may be scared right now karmic yeah now, for some of you, this karmic might be going to jail because she stole, she was lying and cheating and stole some type of money here and walked away. And now, you know, you're trying to get the strength to move on to someone from the past, Six of Cups, but you're afraid right now because you know you need to communicate. You're probably afraid to communicate. You don't know what to say. So you're resisting or you've been resisting this family dynamic for so long and you feel like a fool that's what I'm picking up for some of you for others of you this is a karmic and this person is going to go to jail because she stole some money and something and left or well, you did and walked away eight of swords that's my jail card or afraid okay overthinking some of you you're just afraid to commit and you know you got to walk away from some type of family dynamic. And you could be resisting right now, but it seems like you will communicate and take the leap. Alright, so that's what I got. I hope some of those messages resonated. If so, hit the like button. This was just a quick check-in, guys. Once again, what goes around comes around. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Okay? What goes around comes around. Deja Vu Tarot. Peace.